Do you wish you could learn French vocabulary faster? Or maybe learning new words isn't so much a problem for you, but you wish you'd be able to find the right words at the right time when you speak without making 10 mistakes in a sentence or having to think between each word. If so, you're in the right place. In this video, I will share seven easy and actionable tips that will make it so much easier for you to improve your French vocabulary. Most of these tips are very counterintuitive and I keep seeing learners doing the exact opposite and running into problems because of it. In fact, I have made these mistakes in my own language learning journey over and over again until I learned better. So I'm definitely not pointing fingers. It's very hard to know where the pitfalls to avoid are. In fact, some of these pitfalls are super sneaky because they won't slow you down immediately, but they'll create huge issues down the line when you reach intermediate level. My last tip on this list will help you avoid these issues and save months of frustrations. And if you're an intermediate student and you are already experiencing a lot of frustration at this level, well, you will understand why and you will know how to correct this. So please make sure you watch this video until the end. My name is Angèle Preto, and on this channel, we talk about what it really takes to learn French and become fluent. Make sure you're subscribed because I make new videos every single Monday and you don't want to miss them. My first super counterintuitive tip to learn more vocabulary and learn it faster is to learn less words. I know, right? It's counterintuitive. Here's the thing. You might have heard that your brain has unlimited capacity to learn and that in fact, the more you learn and the more you can learn. This is absolutely true. The total capacity of your brain is unlimited, but the bandwidth is not. And you know this, if you have a job that's demanding intellectually or if you have studied a lot, there is only so much that you can learn at a time until your brain just blatantly refuses to take any more before it has digested the previous intake. And so of course, if you're stacking French learning on top of a demanding career, it's even worse, right? So I recommend to not try to learn more than 10 new words a day, and that is really an absolute maximum. If you're exhausted, busy, or sleep deprived, limit yourself to five words a day maximum. Truth be told, five words a day is more than you need, especially if you apply the other tips on this list as well. It's better to learn five words that are super useful and know them really well than to try and learn 50 words that, you know, could come in handy some way, someday, I don't know, and fail to remember them because, well, your brain just can't learn so much at a time. Which brings me to tip number two, which is to select your vocabulary. Not all words are created equal. There are around 100,000 words in the French language, but some native French speakers only ever use 500 words, 500 words in their daily life, and they can live a perfectly normal life in France. I mean, granted, they're not big intellectual, right? They're rather people who have a manual job or something like that, but 500 words, and that's enough for their life and their natives. So here's a quick calculation for you. If you learn five words a day for 100 days, after just over three months, you can already have the minimal amount of vocabulary that the least skilled native has. But there's a catch. It works only if you learn only the words that you really, really need. It's not about how many words you can learn, it's about which words you choose to learn. Here's the question now. How do you know if you need them? Number three, if you're not sure, it's no. Ask yourself, when you see a new word, ask yourself, will I really use this word? And if you're not sure, the answer is no. I know this feels a little bit radical and many students shy away from using this technique. I did it too for a very long time, but here is why we really all need to do it. When you decide to eliminate a word because you're not sure if it's useful, one of two things will happen. Either you were wrong and the word was actually useful, in this case, you will see the word again and you will need it again and you'll be able to capture it next time it shows up so it won't be lost. Or you were right and you will never see or need the word again or at least not soon enough for it to matter now, in which case it's one less word cluttering your brain. So you see that it's impossible for a word to really get lost if you need it. 
If a word does get lost, it means you didn't need it. So good riddance. Now that you've identified the words that you do need, what do you do with them? Tip number four is to capture the vocabulary you want to learn. Once you've identified these words, you know you want them, you know they're useful, you'll want to capture them in a trusted system, for example, a vocabulary notebook. I have made a video about using a vocabulary notebook to learn French in five minutes a day, so I'll link it up here. Tip number five is to review your new words daily until you know them by heart. Once you have them in your trusted system, for example, your notebook, you will want to review the words every day. That's also covered in that other video, so I won't elaborate too much here, but I'll say this. Now that you know you need to review all the words you don't know yet every day, you will agree with me. It's a lot better to be selective and have a shorter list. Otherwise, this process quickly gets out of control. Which brings me to tip number six. If the list gets too long, prune it. You want to remove all the words that you either know by heart because you've reviewed them so much, or you realize that they weren't useful after all. So if it turns out that you never need or feel like using a particular word, just remove it without mercy. Think of it this way. No word lives in your vocabulary notebook rent free. If they aren't contributing right now to improving your ability to communicate in French, they are taking up space and they need to go. You have only so much time and brain space available, so it has to be reserved to those words which will really drastically improve your ability to speak French. If you have reached a point where your list is way too long, for example, your notebook is full, I recommend pruning the list by starting a new notebook and writing all the words you still need to learn by hand again. And I recommend this for two reasons. One is that writing by hand is proven to help your brain form new connections and learn better. And the second reason is that if you have to write the entire list again, which is a long and tedious task, you will get really selective with the words you keep, even if it's just to save some time as you copy the list. And that is what we want. We want to be selective. If you remember only one thing from this video, that should be that you need to be selective with the words you learn. If you don't have time to prune your list right now, which is quite a slippery slope, but I'm gonna give you this tip anyway, a quick hack is to review just the last pages of your notebook. However, this is a very temporary fix and there is a risk that words you wrote earlier won't be properly fixed in your long-term memory. That would lead to a need to relearn those words down the line, meaning wasting some time on relearning them. So I recommend carving out some time to prune your list if it's out of control. That will save you time in the long run. I will share another way to save huge amounts of time in the long run in my next tip. However, if you've already learned something from this video, please click the like button and share your ahas in the comments. This really helps other learners like you find the channel. And besides, I read and answer every single comment and I look forward to interacting with you. With that said, Tip number seven, and perhaps the most important and most overlooked of all, learn all the details that you need. I see so many people starting vocabulary lists and writing just a word with a translation next to it. This is better than nothing, but it will cause some serious issues down the line when you try to use the words to speak in an actual conversation. French grammar is full of little traps like gender and conjugation and irregular plurals and words that you can use with some preposition but not some other. And you just don't get a chance to make a correct sentence if you don't know the important details that pertain to every word you use in that sentence. So if it's a noun, write down its gender, for example, in the form of the corresponding article. If it's a verb, learn which conjugation type it belongs to. If your word has an irregular plural, write it down, etc. You can also learn words in chunks or write complete sentences in the notebook so you remember how a word is used. This will help you tremendously when you have to make sentences using your vocabulary words. If you have been learning French for a long time and you did not do this before, then it's probably one of the main reasons why you're not progressing as fast as you'd like. If you haven't learned the little grammar details that help you use the word accurately in a sentence, after a certain level, there are just too many parameters that you don't master. So that's why you feel that you can never get it right. I recommend getting awareness of where these little details are missing in your vocabulary and relearning the word when there is something critical that you don't know about it. So for example, if you know for a fact that livre means book, but you're not sure if it's masculine or feminine, rewrite it as le livre in your notebook. So you know in the future that it is actually masculine and it goes with le. 
If you know that apprendre means to learn, but you can't figure out how to conjugate it, you'll want to write down that apprendre is conjugated like prendre, and make sure you know the conjugation of prendre because it's a verb type and it will help you conjugate many other verbs. The downside of this is that it's tedious and it can make you feel like you aren't making any progress because you have to spend a considerable amount of time relearning things that you thought you had already learned. This is a big part of why the so-called intermediate plateau is so daunting. On the one hand, you see the immensity of what you feel you still have to learn, and on the other hand, you feel like you don't even master the things that you've already learned. I will make more videos about mastering grammar and about the intermediate plateau and how to navigate it because there is a lot to say about these topics, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. In the meantime, if you feel that you are stuck in your French study, you aren't progressing as fast as you'd like, or you would like some personal help for any reason, I still have a couple of spots available for one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can book a call to speak about this with me via the link in the description down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video until the end. Here is another video that you can watch and I will see you next Monday.